Hello, my name is Marcy Brandenburg, and I'm the bioinformationist at the University of Michigan Taubman Health Sciences Library. Today, we learn about LRPATH, a tool that performs gene set enrichment testing. Currently, biomedical researchers do a lot of high throughput experiments that result in lists of genes. It is difficult to understand these results by looking through the list one gene at a time. Gene set enrichment testing is one method that can help interpret a long list of genes. Gene set enrichment testing can answer the following question. What biologically related or predefined sets of genes are enriched with differential expression or methylation or histone marks from a microarray or other throughput experiment? Given a high throughput data set, with continuous significance values, such as p-values, LRPATH tests for gene sets, which are termed concepts, that have significantly higher significance values than expected at random. LRPATH can identify both concepts that have a few genes with very significant differential expression and concepts containing many genes with only moderate differential expression. LRPATH uses predefined gene sets, which can be viewed by clicking on the Concept Databases link in the Overview section on the web page. For the predefined concepts, you now see the concept type, category, and concept size. Clicking on any of the concept types, such as Go Biological Process, will provide you with the specific concepts for that concept type and with links for downloading the gene lists for human, mouse, and rat. LRPATH gives you the option to select which databases you want to use for your analysis. The databases are organized into the following categories, functional annotations, literature derived, targets, interaction, and other. The functional annotations databases consist of biological annotations and pathways, such as BioCarta pathway, gene ontology, and KEG pathway. This category also includes metabolic pathways from EHMN, which is the Edinburgh Human Metabolic Network. The literature-derived category includes the very large database MESH, or medical subject headings, which covers a large number of concepts, including diseases, chemicals and drugs, and biological phenomena and processes. The literature-derived category also includes the smaller database OMIM. Within the targets category are gene sets targeted by a common drug, microRNA, or transcription factor. The interaction category consists of MIMI, which is the Michigan Molecular Interactions Database. These concepts are named for a specific gene, and the gene set includes all the genes that interact with the specific gene. The last category is Other, which consists of metabolite and cytoband. Each concept from metabolite is the name of a specific metabolite, and the gene sets consist of those genes whose enzymes are involved in reactions with the specific metabolite. Cytoband groups genes based on where they are located on a chromosome. LRPATH is a web-based tool. Using the drop-down menu next to Species, select the appropriate species, such as Human. If you select mouse or rat, know that most of the databases are actually using the human ortholog. For human, mouse, and rat, all the databases are available for selection. However, for the other species, such as zebrafish, only Go, Keg, and Cytoband are available for selection. Click the boxes next to the databases you want used in your analysis, such as BioCarta Pathway, 
and keg pathway. Please note that selecting several large databases, such as MeSH, Go, or MIMI, will increase your computation time. Further down the page, next to Directional Test, click on the radio button next to Yes. What you choose here will determine what information is needed in your input file. If you run a directional test, your input file will need an extra column containing direction information, either up or down, for each gene. A directional test allows the user to distinguish between up or down regulated concepts. A test that is not directional allows the user to distinguish between enriched and depleted concepts, but not between concepts enriched with up versus down regulated genes. LRPATH requires you to input all your data, not just the significant genes. The input file should be a tab delimited text file that contains at least two columns. Although the file needs to contain a header row, the actual names used in this row can be of your choosing. Normally, the first column is entree gene IDs, which is recommended, but gene symbols are also allowed. If testing with Drosophila and using the KEG database, the FlyBase IDs must be used instead of entree gene IDs. If testing yeast, SGD IDs are used instead of entree gene IDs. The second column in the input file must be p-value. If a directional test is selected, the file must contain a third column indicating up for any positive value and down for any negative value. For the direction, the actual value is not important. It is the sign, whether positive or negative, that matters. To select an input file, click Browse, select the location of the file, and click Open. Select the appropriate ID type, in this case, Entree Gene ID. Enter your email address into the box in order to get the results link sent to you. The Advanced Analysis options in LRPATH provide the opportunity to filter concepts and or change the statistical cutoffs. Click on the double arrow to the right of the heading, Advanced Analysis Options. The Advanced Options will now appear below the heading. The default setting essentially has no maximum genes in a concept, but there may be reasons to change this. For example, some Go terms are quite large. To remove uninformative concepts, such as cell, cytoplasm, or biological response, you may want to limit the maximum number of genes to 500 or 1,000. Under Statistical Options, the default significance cutoff for reporting the driving genes is 0.05. However, you may want to change this based on your data set and needs. The significance level provided here determines which genes show up in the last column of the output where the significant genes are provided. Once LRPATH has completed an analysis, 
A link is provided for viewing the results. The results are provided in a tabular format. The results include the concept name, the concept type, the number of genes making up the concept, the coefficient, odds ratio, p-value, false discovery rate, direction if a directional test was performed, and a list of the significant genes. Note that there is a link above the title labeled How Do I Interpret These Results? Clicking on this link brings up a window defining each of the categories in the results table. LRPATH Cluster Analysis allows you to integrate your LRPATH results from multiple experiments in order to interactively view and explore the enrichment profiles of a set of concepts across experiments. It is often more interesting if more than two comparisons are used. The output is a set of files to view and explore in Java Tree View. A link to learn more about and download Java Tree View is available in the clustering section of LRPATH. After clicking on the TreeView software link, click on Example Files. Under Simple Example, click on the image to view sample gene expression data using this tool. Using the drop-down menu on the LRPATH web page, choose a value to cluster by, either negative log p-value or log odds ratios. Negative log p-values tend to show variation for larger concepts, while the log odds ratios tend to show stronger differences for smaller biological concepts. Using the drop-down menus, you can choose a method for distance matrix, such as Pearson Correlation Uncentered, and a linkage for clustering, such as Average. Next, choose how to filter concepts to be clustered, either by using p-value or false discovery rate. In addition, include the value cutoff and the number of LRPATH comparisons. The number of comparisons cannot exceed the number of URLs provided. Next, provide the URLs for the LRPATH results. The URL must be for the text format, not the HTML. At least two URLs are needed to run a clustering analysis. Click the Add File button to input additional URLs if more than two are being used. Click on Submit. The result will be a link for downloading information. You can then get an interactive heat map view. An example of such a heat map is found by clicking on the Here link at the end of the paragraph explaining the clustering analysis. For more information, I have provided you the citation for an article published on LRPATH. In addition, information for accessing LRPATH is provided on this screen. I would like to acknowledge the people and organizations on this slide for their contributions to this tutorial.